I'm Daniel Ratcliffe. And I'm Rebecca Michael. And this is Real Empowerment. Yes. Year in Review. Year in Review. We're going back. Yes. Way back. Way back. Back in the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so today, it's going to be a little different. Yes. You know, we're, 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 we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, we have two individuals here with us that are key in the entire creation of our podcast, yes. of Real Empowerment. Mm-hmm. Um, we have... Keegan and Tim, I will have you guys introduce yourselves uh, to our listeners, um, and we will explain why you guys are so important to our podcast. Yes. Well, thanks for having us, guys. Uh, I'm Tim. Um, I work at the front desk at the Independence Center, and I also like to produce music. So what you hear at the beginning of the episode every single week is <laughs> what I made it's a, yes. banger. a time yes, it's ago. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's uh, been a while since you, you produced it, and it's... Yeah, no, I, I'm really happy with the way it's still holding up, too, and mm-hmm. it just sounds really clean coming in and listening to it. It just sets a nice talking tone. Yes, yeah, it does. It sure does. Yeah, ma'am. And I'm, I'm Keegan. I, I work here at Studio 916. <laughs> I've never been on a podcast before. Don't so be shy. It's like a dream come true, honestly. <laughs> nice. You, know, like, you listen to 10,000 hours of podcast, and you're like, maybe someday I'll have something maybe to say. It's a dream of It's mine. finally happened. So thank you. You're welcome. Daniel, Rebecca, <laughs> Tim. Get to the big leagues yeah. now. <laughs> I, it's my, my heart. It's palpitations, honestly. I can, I can tell. I like yeah. this. Yeah. He's in the hot seat. I know. <laughs> Let's well, go in. He makes us sound good, though. He does. He, yeah. So what What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with this? I was going to go further. I was like, it's much cooler if I make it awkward and just leave it that, like that. <laughs> it's it's Honestly, it's not a hard job when you have like a half million dollar room and you yes. have thousand dollar microphones. Mm-hmm. You know, as you were saying before, we, we started like I just hit a button and uh, <laughs> you, you guys are the talent. You guys take care of, of making it entertaining. But well, Daniel's the talent. Um, what? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> You're giving him a lot of credit. Yeah. Right. I know. <laughs> Remember that pedestal comment that you made on the other <laughs> podcast? Call back to yeah, let's episodes. not put me on a pedestal. I will jump off of it. No parachute. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Keep... I'll catch you. Right. As always. I thought you bounced, but okay. Oh, Good to know. You know. I'm a little bounced. <laughs> yeah. So kicking on the back end, you yeah. you, you you downplay yes, your role. You do. Oh, thank like, you. Really yeah. do. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have the. The, the claps. claps. We wouldn't have our. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> we wouldn't have that. I'm glad know? we got off that trend of like you guys asking for stuff and then me. <laughs> it'd be super cheesy if I put it in air horns here no. or like they no. ask for and it. And then I hear it and I'm like, oh, God, I yeah, it. yeah. Yes. we gotta make it fun. But you, yes. you clean it all up for us, man. Sure. You do the editing, the sure, engineering, sure. making yeah. sure our volumes are are proper, making sure that our guests are comfortable, man. I, I watch how you interact with our guests, yeah. and yep. you truly make sure that they're comfortable and they are feeling good when they step into the studio. Yep. And I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> well, thank you. Yes. Yes. It is a big part of the job because, like, it's such a strange thing, and I'm experiencing now this for the second time. This is only the second time I've actually done a recording in here. Uh-huh. First time I came in to sing, and, like, I, I couldn't do it. Like, oh. having my coworker in there, I'm like, dog i know it's a really nice <laughs> microphone and it's not gonna sound as good at home but like just i was so uncomfortable sure, yeah. sure. and so it always shocks me like when a podcaster or a musician comes in here mm-hmm. and is able to just be like oh hey nice to meet you i'm gonna go do this really intimate thing in mm-hmm. front of this stranger and yeah. yeah so and like and a lot of people are like me and they you know have right. the stage fright so <laughs> we're like you know turn out the lights don't look at us pretend <laughs> we're not here pretend you're at home Right. And whatever we can do to make people feel more comfortable it, yeah. is, is the big part of the job. It's not knowing mixing nice. or you right. know, mic technique or any of that stuff. It's like, mm-hmm. be friendly, be supportive, like make right. people feel good, and then they'll perform good. Right, right. exactly. Yeah. Well, on top of that, I, what, what I get to do um, in the position, the way that we sit, um, because of our disabilities, we have to sit in a, in a particular way mm-hmm. in the the, um, the studio. And I get, I, I get to see when our guests come in that are next the next episode and they spend some time in the like the waiting studio area um and they interact with you keegan and they're just like put at ease before they you know are put on the hot seat with us yeah and it's really cool to kind of watch them watch you do this stuff you know and you're in and out doing you know just (laughs) 
doing your job. I straight up ignored Tim for like a half hour. And there. I was like catching up on busy work. Oh, oh he was <laughs> like, probably oh, in oh, heaven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very much so. Yeah. I was just I'm looking at the talk. rack Please components. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> what all the things do yeah. and just what the knobs yeah. all say. That can I can... touch this? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. <laughs> eventually, I know that's where I want to be, is having yeah. all this kind of equipment. That way um, I can continue my own personal music yeah. uh, production level. Yeah. Just because it's cool equipment. Yeah. Don't yeah. need it anymore really but <laughs> yeah. i want it yeah yeah man, yeah. Yeah, man. and uh, a lot of people know tim as tim man at the front desk, desk i know yeah. him as big tim dog no <laughs> 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 i know him as, as as his uh stage name why don't you share your stage name with everyone yes. so they can find your music on spotify or any major platform yeah absolutely uh so i go by naughty bass as the music producer side nice. um mm-hmm. and it's kind of more on the astronaut side so it's yeah. n-a-u-t-y bass yeah. Um, and I just kind of got the idea one day while I was sitting around, hmm, what should I call myself? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it just, because I like a lot of what's uh, referred to nowadays as space space within the electronic music scene, uh-huh. and it takes a lot of elements from different genres, and it just kind of hodgepodges it all together. Mm-hmm. And it breaks a lot of traditional rules in production, like, oh, I'm going to crank this particular sound way past safe levels, and then I'm going <laughs> to tame it down later and then shape it because I can Um, and uh, one of the big things with it in particular is it has a lot of like hip hop influence Um, Mm -hmm. at least in the feel of it the drum rhythms themselves are pretty static overall but the feel with the combination of the drum beat as well Mm -hmm. as the bass sounds a lot of the synthesizers or just like piano leads that are playing um, in the background. They do a lot of extra rhythmic um, expression to create more of that hip-hop vibe. Right. And it's just a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And you know, when I... um, The way that you described it actually reminds me about when we were talking about this music, I don't know, it had to have been like almost a year ago. Something around there. We were talking about, you know creating this podcast yeah. and I'm like I need music don't I and that's kind of what I hear on all my other podcasts that I listen to yep. mm-hmm. and um and someone told me well Tim Tim Mann does music and I'm like at the front desk Tim <laughs> and they're like yeah yeah him because at the time we had three Tims yeah that's at the true IC. we did and I'm like it was a very confusing time narrow that down like which yeah. Tim we're down to one Tim I know. yeah it's just me now wow I feel so special you should <laughs> you should totally because there's two Rebecca well, you, you really murdered confusing. those other Tims right yeah, yeah. obviously they're yeah. out yes ashes. gotta ashes. stand on top the cream <laughs> the cream rises to the top that's ooh, all that that is ooh that's good <laughs> And the way that you described your music and how you take all the different genres and you and you're able to create this this really cool product, it's yeah. like the disability community and there's all these unique people that come to the disability community and that are part yeah. of the dis- disability community that create this yeah. really unique place for people to come. Definitely. And so that really just that kind of reminds me in a in a music form, I guess. Yeah. of what we have at the IC. The, the crazy thing is, is I was there while he created this, the the intro, mm-hmm. and that was the idea: is to make it pleasing for everyone. And and he really made sure that even down to the tempo, to the instruments and the sounds that were used, that it would be pleasing to someone that was eighty and someone mm-hmm. that was eight. Well, you and did the it. effort that That's he put like... into it was um, amazing. <laughs> Yeah. It was amazing. It was pretty cool to watch. Yeah. yeah. And I remember just sitting at my desk and you two are sitting there at that round table in my office and I'm trying to verbalize what I want and I can't. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to like, how do I tell them what I'm thinking? I don't even know if I even told you guys anything now that I think about it. I think there was a lot of fluff in the conversation. <laughs> and then Tim pulled like two or three words out and then you, cre- you created this music that was just represented exactly what I wanted that I didn't know I needed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's freaking Tim. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he introduced me to, uh, like, trap music and mm-hmm. all of this cool, like, uh, uh, what is it, um, Electric Mushroom? Uh, infected, mushroom. Infected, infected Mushroom. Infected Mushroom. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking it's Electric close. Forest, <laughs> but Infected <laughs> Mushroom. And I'm just like, dude, I'm, what, is, what are these sounds? These are not supposed to mesh together. <laughs> this is not supposed to work. How is right. this happening? And right. he's that 
guy. Mm -hmm. If you want to explore some different music and find the things that you need that you didn't know you need, Tim is that guy to introduce you. There you go. I yeah. have a big, big library of different songs in my head. <laughs> oh, I believe it. Yes. I, don't, oh, yes. I totally believe it. But yeah, and that's something that I really enjoy about electronic music in particular, just to tack on with what you were saying, Daniel, um, where you don't necessarily know you're going to like it. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of people, electronic music, particularly the dubstep variety, which is that big, screamy, wah, wah, wah yeah, noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's really jarring for a lot of people. Um, I know I personally enjoy it every now and then, uh, moving more away from that, uh, just because it's very, very noisy for lack mm -hmm. of a better term for it i right. mean they a lot of the um i'm trying to think of the word um but what a lot of producers in dubstep in particular do is they'll push the overall loudness up so instead of necessarily individual sounds being extremely loud it's uh. all the sounds so it pushes the entire noise floor up making the perceived loudness of it even oh. further so it, gotcha. it's a combination where you have these really jarring, grindy, metallic sounds mm -hmm. and a very um, body-throwing rhythm mm -hmm. combined with that extra added noise, uh, noise floor. So it just feels so much louder than what it should. Sure. Whereas a lot of traditional music will be... It feels a lot quieter, even though a lot of the peaks, um, the loudest parts of the song, are at that same volume. Sure. Uh, so it, it has to do with that dynamic range from the quiet parts to the loud parts. And I like dynamics. <laughs> you you, you got to have evolution in music yeah. and uh, sound in particular, just yeah. because having a lot of the same sound, whether it be the same rhythm, whether it be the actual same sound over and over, mm -hmm. um, or even in, over the course of like eight measures where it feels like a full part of the song having a smaller portion of it be just on loop throughout that sure. particular yeah. phrase. Sure. It can get really obnoxious really quickly because then once you hear the same thing again, your ear zones in on that. Yeah. And what I like to focus on is that growing change. Uh, so I may have the same four bar loop throughout the entire song, but it will sound different at every single four bar section. Nice. That's really um, cool. Just so that it keeps the listener engaged they know it's the same sound. They know it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. But because it's slightly different, the brain itself can't really latch on to, that's the same thing. I've heard that a thousand times. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. just really fun. <laughs> <laughs> One of the happiest people I know. Yes, actually. definitely. Tim. There are some days on Mondays when he's like, good morning. And, and I'm I want to like, kick oh. him. Yeah. I'm like, shut up, Tim. I get that a lot. It's yeah. not a good morning <laughs> It's today. Monday. Yeah. Really? How can you be that energetic? And I, I try. There are days when I'm like, Good morning. <laughs> I didn't know they made musicians in morning people. I don't. Yeah, that's, I think that yes. existed. Yes. yes, that's just my on mode. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. You know, in thinking about their similarities between the two of you, um, I've kind of learned this because your ear is so in tune to the music, but then your ear is so in tune to the clarity of our podcast. Sure. Vocals. Sure. And um, and you know, it's almost monthly. You're like, take a listen. I you know, I did this on a different computer. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, it sounds fine to me you well, know but you're like it didn't sound as good as i usually would like it to be right. and i appreciate that um that that level sure, that you take yeah. our podcast to yeah definitely well, uh, your your episodes eventually will be three and a half hours so <laughs> what yeah, it comes man. down to is like a lot of times when i'm editing i'm just doing it by eye mm -hmm. so i'm actually looking for peaks if somebody banged the table mm -hmm. or if right one of you Bust out laughing right into the microphone. I'm like, okay, we gotta go. We, we gotta go do some clip gain on <laughs> that know, right there. Really so, so I'll just you know look at it, and I won't mm -hmm. have time to, to listen to three hours of sure. podcast. So sure. that's your job. So I appreciate you <laughs> being quality <laughs> control because we can fix it. But I need you to let, to be the ears. Yeah, I actually, am. I'm this all, one. Yeah. Hey, as I point to Daniel, I'm shy. It's good thing that you, I'm pointing in your peripheral because you know I'm pointing I can't to even you. see that you're pointing. At yeah. Me. So I get the episodes, and I'm like, text him to Daniel so he can listen to him. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, you sent him to me? <laughs> a week later. And I'm like, why is this it my responsibility to um, double check everything? Oh, you know. Partnership. I is think we're great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's all that it is. I personally enjoy it. And then when there's ones that come out, like I get them in the middle of the day, like sure. send them. I'm like, 
like, yes! And I'm listening to him in my office, and somebody's like, are you listening to yourself again? Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, no, I am listening to hear if there's something I need to oh, change. Man. I remember the conversation. <laughs> Do you enjoy listening to yourself? Not really. Me either. No. I don't like not the sound like, of my I don't, Not that I don't like hearing you. Uh-huh. It's yeah. myself. I don't yeah. like hearing myself. You, you pulled that back quick, didn't you? Yeah. Not that well, I don't mind listening to I want to make sure we go to Popeye's after we leave here. So, <laughs> you know. I see how that, yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep works. the treats moving. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, Keegan, how, how did you end up here at the Sand Creek Library engineering and so, creating this wonderful place that we recorded? Yeah, I'm, I'm a guitar player, so when I was working for Rebecca's sister, Abby. Abby, yeah. Um, you we'll know, pull she's, her in she's eventually. Like, yeah, that, that'd be amazing. <laughs> um, she's like, what, you know, what kind of programs what kind of services do you want to offer to the public and i'm like well i play guitar i like teaching folks guitar so you know i went and bought a bunch of cheap crummy guitars which we have behind us here from you know 20 to 30 buck pawn pawn shop specials they're not that bad (laughs) there's a couple of purple (laughs) ones yeah there's a couple nice ones uh um, but anyways so i would get you know five people and then 12 people and then eventually 17 people and i'm like this is a you know a really cool thing and it was a really popular program and went for years and years and years, and and then when we were we, the library had this nice remodel, mm-hmm. they're like Sand Creek needs some love. We're gonna put some shine on them. We're gonna give them a makerspace. And uh, Abby was like, "There's a there's a need for access to music and sound and yeah. artistic expression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and can you do this?" And I'm yeah. like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try." <laughs> You know, I, I have not, you know, I've been recording with a $50 mic and a, a $50 mix board at home. Mm-hmm. You know, after my band broke up, I'm like, I'll just do covers and mm-hmm. home recordings. Sure. So, you know, most amateur level you could do it. And then here's $30,000. What are you going to buy? How's it going to work? How are you going to serve the public? So mm-hmm. months yeah. of research, YouTube videos, and, um, you know, places jumping. Everything worked out well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really didn't know what I was doing when I planned all this stuff but mm-hmm. i got really lucky i want you know i'm not gonna say yeah. i can take any credit for it but um the stuff sounds nice it's what the public needed um yeah. all the stuff that we offer yeah. fits their fits the the community's need really well so yeah. how can people get uh signed up here to utilize this oh man things are changing we're we're making it easier for folks i met you at an orientation yes about way before nine, 12 months ago right it was yeah. i think it was longer than that yeah, man long, long time ago <laughs> yeah um, we don't even have. We don't even require that anymore. You want to use the studio? Visit the library. Get yourself a library card if you don't have one. Cool. Sign a, a, a agreement form. This is my phone number. This is my name. I agree to follow the rules. You can book a session. I don't follow oh. the rules. Yeah, you don't. We <laughs> all know this. I eat chicken That's in the studio. That's a whole separate podcast. Can't, anyway. can't put that on tape. Now everyone will know. <laughs> all the two chicken can, in here. can you can you bleep it out? <laughs> Can you bleep it out? He's, yeah, he, remember he's uh, got control over yeah. everything. Don't don't reason. cut it out. I want to bleep. Like, <laughs> I eat beep in here. <laughs> really throw people uh, out. Of the right. Room. <laughs> Nobody wants to know what you're eating. Man. Yeah, exactly. It's just chicken, mom. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And the Red Bull. And we've had this conversation about Red Bull a number of times. We need sponsorship. Of course, we I'm need sponsorship. To, you know, sure, sure. I'll kill myself drinking Red Bull I, to get a see, sponsorship. How many months ago was it where you're like, Becca, I'm off Red Bull. I'm that was like last again. month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like last month. For real. And then I'm like, okay, let me see if I can get vial one up and see if one of my staff can come bring you one. And did did she? She brought me a case. Yes, she brought you a case. And that's what got me addicted. Yeah. Don't blame my staff. I have to. Yeah. It's called ownership. You know, if it wasn't there, I wouldn't have drank it. Oh, my God. Okay, Daniel. <laughs> I think you're gonna lose this argument. As long as we don't lose possible sponsorship, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so, let's talk about favorite episodes. Let's do it. Because we have, by the time that this is this um, is released, it'll be the last week of December, and we have gone, we have recorded all of our sessions for the rest of the year. Yeah. And so, the favorite session that. Let's ask. Have you listened to? All no, of he them? hasn't listened to. I haven't them. listened podcast. to all of them. You haven't okay. listened to a few. Okay, of them. and you haven't Keegan's been any. forced to Talking listen to trash them. over here. Captive audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna call out our favorite episodes. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with you, Daniel. Uh, my favorite episode is when we interviewed Beyonce. And um, oh, it was that so. Happened. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was that was my That's dream. It's on his vision board. That was, yeah. <laughs> my bad. I got it's it confused. Got it confused. 
can an individual that's blind have a vision board? Yes, you can. Okay, I just wanted to know. <laughs> just make it more tactile. <laughs> <laughs> if Beyonce's on my vision board, I would love it to be tactile. <laughs> Wouldn't um, we all? <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. Of course you would. <laughs> ah, man, that's so hard to choose. Mm-hmm. Um, it would probably be... Man, there's, there's two that stand out in my mind. Okay. Uh, the one episode that we did with um, peer support yes. with Kevin, uh, Marco, and uh, Carrie. And um, Gail. And Gail. Yes. That, that really stood out in my mind because of our, um, our guests, their ability and willingness to just be very open and put everything out there on the table. Yeah. Darn near bringing me to tears. Yeah. Um, that was a beautiful episode. Um, and then, but that, and then our Pride Month episode, Love is Love, with Lo- Love is Love episode mm-hmm. with uh, Chris and Elle. Yes, that was awesome too. That was so awesome. those those would be the tie for me, the, the top tie. two. Yeah. Um, man, there have been a lot. Um, I'm gonna go with you on the the Love is Love one. I really enjoyed that one. I think because that really challenged us both because we did yeah. not know a lot. And yeah. we spent a lot of time asking questions and letting them just dive in. Yeah. Um, and I think that also within the, our, our, our work at the IC, the LGBTQ um, clientele mm-hmm. is now finding it the IC as a safe space. Yes. And so it was really an episode that we had to do. Definitely. Because we needed to make sure that we got out there that this is a safe space and come talk to us. And yeah. we know, and we're going to own the fact that we don't know. Right. Um, I never know anything about anything. Yeah, that's true. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I don't know whether to take that as You a just dive in, dive into your phone when you're like, oh, I need to do some research. Yeah. Ask a silly question. Yeah. I love asking the, <laughs> the silly questions. And then the, the best one that I really enjoyed was our first disability awareness one. Our very first podcast. With Tim. With Tim Ashley. and Elle. Yeah. Because I think that that's what really, um, really challenged all of us to see where we could go with this. It challenged me. It yeah. challenged you. That's actually when I think we decided that we were going to do this as, as, um, as partners. Yeah. And then it challenged Keegan because this is something new for you. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, then we had to challenge Tim to make some music for it. Bah. It was no yes. biggie. <laughs> year two, new song. Hmm? Yeah. So year two, new song. Uh, yes. We're looking at it. Let's um, do it. We, yeah. we got to get that approved. Yes. By, we're working on that. By our wonderful admin. Um, <laughs> but w- yeah, no, I would love to do a nice little revamp of the same sound yeah. uh, and just kind of build it more into uh, what I think the IC is moving towards. Nice. Sure. Um, and like incorporating. Um, what I know is technical speak, uh, but a lot of what's called super saws. Uh, mm-hmm. So they're basic saw uh, waves. So they look like a buzz saw yeah. on uh, if you're looking at a wave table. And mm-hmm. you just take a bunch of them, you stack them together uh, across the different octaves, and then you slap them together some more and make them really big and wide. My brain hurts. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to put this in, in some sort of visual context in my head. And it's, um, so it's the, the best way to explain it would be <laughs> if you had a set, a series of violins. Okay. And we're talking 16 to 32, if not even more. Okay. And each of these, let's say it's a group of 16. And you have four different groups of 16. And each of these groups is playing a different note. Okay. So there, you have 16 that are playing the same thing, but then you have four different groups of okay. the 16. And then you take them and you stack them all on top of each other, mm-hmm. except the violins are super harsh and robotic sounding. Yeah. And they have a lot more noise to it than okay. a typical string. Is that called that creating a, a harmony? Close. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it's less of a harmony because a harmony is going to be taking the different notes within a particular octave gotcha. um, whereas what this is doing is different it's taking octaves. exactly it's taking the same note across several octaves gotcha. uh, to, okay. so that you have that lower register that nice thick full sound hmm. and then you have that upper uh, presence in the higher registers okay. so that you know that this is the full sound that's it can you make electric christmas music 
Yes, there is actually multiple collaboration okay. EPs and albums <laughs> that have been released over the uh I've heard years. that. I've never heard. That. I don't like Christmas, Christmas music, music. Like there's I'm dubstep <laughs> Christmas music. You have house music. Tr- there's trap Christmas music. I want a song called Santa Claus in the Club. There might actually already be one that exists. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, um, Keegan, what's your favorite podcast that you oh, were forced to listen to? What? What? <laughs> I'm gonna give you three examples oh, three here. Three examples. Wow. Um, I loved. I think it was Doctor. His name was Doctor Weed. Yeah, yes. Doctor Weed. Doctor Weed. Yes. Like, I studied genetics and stuff. Uh huh. And that you know, I have a biology degree. <laughs> I have good vision, and it was. Bare, uh, you know, bare, I could <laughs> make it through, and just just to hear his story and what he overcame mm-hmm. to what yeah. he was able to accomplish with his life is mind blowing. Yeah, he's yeah. an amazing what, individual. What a rock yeah. star! Yeah, he's mm-hmm. pretty cool. Um, yeah. Last, no, I can't say last month because these are. Well, it's, just, <laughs> it's December. Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> right. <laughs> um, the uh, the young ladies uh, in the nursing program and the firefighter the CNA oh, program yeah. yes our deaf CNAs yes Rebecca that and was Skyler awesome. yeah. yeah that mm-hmm. was awesome. such a good listen um, yeah two amazing you know individuals, individuals yeah and um, she uh, another uh, lady who came in her her father was with her and she sang she Kimberly sang the tune. Kimberly, Kimberly yeah. love Kimberly yeah. Yeah. yeah that was nice just such a great personality she was having so much fun here <laughs> listening go back and listen to the end of that episode. And it's so clear that Kimberly's like, I just want to, let's just do this for another two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're like trying to bring it in for a landing. Yeah, she's like, yeah. She's like, well, like, you know, I could say a couple more things. Yeah, so yeah. Just, yeah. just a gem um, and a joy. And yeah. uh, so fun to, you know, I put some edits on her song there. Uh, gave it to a little bit of, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yes. Got you. Um, so um, I hope she enjoyed listening back to that. Um, and uh, just, you guys have so much fun and it's, it's so great for, us to be uh, a small part of it so yeah. yeah absolutely and to kind of piggyback off of uh you keegan mm-hmm. uh one of my favorite episodes as well was the one with dr weed because i'm a huge science nerd and i <laughs> i love just learning about new things right. and not just uh to learn a little bit more about genetics and kind of how that functions for um a few things but mm-hmm. again to hear his story and yeah. the ability for him to say you know what i'm gonna need some help with this i'm gonna do it and if you tell me i can't well too bad because i'm gonna do it anyway (laughs) figure out how to get this Um, done and and that was just so inspiring because i think a lot of people uh especially right now with a lot of that fatigue that we have going on Mm -hmm. uh just with um everything going on in the news Mm -hmm. we're we need to really remember that we have that inner strength and our support systems are so helpful in um, just making sure that we stay on top of our own stuff Mm -hmm. and making sure that we uh, acknowledge our own shortcomings and pitfalls while celebrating the strengths that we have and moving forward. That way we can come together and do the exact same thing. Because you yeah. want to build a team of people who are good at different things right. in order to get the best possible outcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Which is, if you look at the table, that's what we did. Did with, we? With our podcast. This table doesn't look like we did that. Well, I know, but you're Oh, you didn't blind. mean you didn't mean that literally. No. Yeah. I looked at the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so there are some days I wonder about you. You shouldn't wonder. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> it's just Daniel. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't wonder anymore. Yes. So with that, I think that we can sign off on 2019 as being a great year of podcasting. And then hopefully 2020 will be even better. Yeah, because we'll have sponsorship from Red Bull. Yeah, you work on that. We know. (laughs) And And Beyonce. (laughs) Again, work on that. (laughs) Is that false advertisement? The the cool thing is, I think I told you this, that um, the National Council of Independent Living is going to highlight our podcast nationally for all 430 independent living centers across what? the country. That is awesome. Burr, 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 yes. burr, burr, burr. Woo, congratulations. Yes. That so, is so and, crazy. Yes, yeah, so we will be able to reach more people. I'm going to hide under a rock I now. want to acknowledge <laughs> the fact that you said way back when yeah, that yeah. we were going to go national. Give me all the credit. So then there you are. Yeah. That our, our, we're our going national, national. And it's yes. Only because I can count to ten. <laughs> That's the only Is reason. Is that the only would... reason? That's it. Okay. No, but Becca, come on. Like, for real. Like, when we started this, tell me the truth. You or I did not know what we were getting into. 
we didn't have it was just a fun idea no <laughs> right? when I was getting into you didn't. sitting in a room with you yes a couple hours every month who would have known we would gel so well I don't know you know that is weird it's like sticking cookies together with tooth- toothpaste I it may not be the most delicious thing to eat. Toothpaste is probably the worst <laughs> second choice you've was, ever picked. That was, you know, I couldn't pick the first choice. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm sitting oh, around a table with guys. That's For the guys. listeners at home, please don't have toothpaste and cookies. It's an awful choice. You should have toothpaste after, after cookies. cookies. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. So brush your teeth, kids. <laughs> there, there's your public service announcement. Yes. Yeah, don't do what Daniel says. <laughs> That's probably the most useful information I've gotten. All week. We should have my children on here. <laughs> they would confirm. You're gonna have to do that. My no. sister, your children. Oh You're my be like, gosh! Oh, my, what is wrong with you two? Oh man. Yeah. Anyway, so let's sign off on 2019. Do we have to? Yes, we do. Hmm. Because it's time Keegan, for 2020. Keegan's gotta go. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. It's all right. Oh, listen. am I signing off? Yes. So if you are interested in... <laughs> I was looking at the table. So <laughs> if you are interested in following us, subscribing to our podcast, liking us, you can find us on Podomatic, which you should have if you're listening to us right now, yes. under Real Empowerment. Um, if you would like a more accessible experience with our podcast, you could definitely find us on YouTube, where the videos are captioned, but you don't really get to see us. We'll work on... We'll work on that. We'll work on that, right? Yeah, there's a goal. Right, but then we'll have to get funding for a wardrobe and all the, you know, I, I'm You're working on it. the sponsorships. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, red M&Ms only. So <laughs> you can find us on YouTube under Real Empowerment as well. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we need that to get the sponsorship mm, from Red Bull. I guess we do. If you'd like to come check us out down at the Independence Center, our address is 729 South Tejon um, here in Colorado Springs, our phone number is um, 719-471-8181. Um, and you can reach Tim directly through that number. Whoa, yes. that's me. Yes, that's yes. <laughs> Mr. Front Desk Guy. So any of your questions that you have, if you want to figure out how to become a consumer mm-hmm. at the Independent Center, Tim is the guy to talk to. Mm-hmm. Um, and just press zero after you dial the number, and it'll go to the front okay. desk. Yep. If you're looking to find Keegan... Uh, and record some wonderful music and be inspired here at the Sand Creek Library. Where where can they? 18, how can they reach you? Oh, sorry, 1821 South Academy, Colorado Springs, 80916. Uh, free recording studio. <laughs> Get yourself a library card. It's a great thing to have. Yeah. Right. Uh, no whack rappers allowed. I'm seriously? sorry. Seriously? I, I don't see. I didn't see that's that. That's a sign. It's a sign up there. <laughs> Did you put it up? It's it's there. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll have to go. Gotta look. come correct. You know? Right. Yes. And so then you can also go to ppld.org. Yes. And look for the Sand Creek Library. Nice. Yes. So is this the end? This Are is we... the end, man. I might cry. Don't cry. I don't handle people crying well. And it's besides, okay. we're going to have another one next week with the new year. So <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> okay. So you made down. me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we're signing we're, off. Yeah, we're signing off to 2019. I'm, I'm Daniel Ratcliffe, uh, the artist formerly known as... Yeah, that's helpful. <laughs> and I'm Rebecca Michael. I'm the advocacy manager. I'm trying to figure this whole thing out with him. <laughs> Until next year. It's the Red Bull talk. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs>